Local organization is welcoming and equipping refugees with tools to build a new life in Northwest Arkansas. Thank you both so much for being here. Remind us, what do you do with the organization? We'll start down there with you. Oh, so uh, Canopy Northwest Arkansas uh, is a refugee resettlement agency, and I think we are the one and only in Northwest Arkansas. We help refugees resettle in Northwest Arkansas and make Northwest Arkansas home for them. Yeah, certainly. You were featured on this show, Gutsy, mm -hmm. on Apple TV Plus. How did that all come about? Yeah, we was, uh, it was an amazing opportunity to reach out to other people and telling a story. So it was a really amazing opportunity. We yeah. Appreciated. yeah. What do you think it is about Canopy that makes you Gutsy? I think it's mostly a lot of the people and Canopy staff in general that take the risk of bringing all these people here mm -hmm. not knowing anybody but then giving them or, or at least feeling first that we are able to make them feel home and we have been successful in doing that and I believe that is what makes us gutsy and mm -hmm. we are a women-led organization most of our staff are women and I take the pride to say that that makes us most gutsy Absolutely. In the <laughs> Just tell us, why is this work that you're doing so important? Well, uh, I would say personally for me, I am from Afghanistan. I am a refugee with a very complicated legal status in the U.S. And when I came here, I did not have an organization who would help me resettle. Well, I had support in the, in the society, but not a well-established organization. But now, Canopy is here, so I feel like every person who comes here they're lost it's very complicated here it's a lot of the refugees who come they don't know the systems they don't know much about living in the u.s. and there i think that is where canopy's role is most significant and that is why we are here to help them go through this complicated process but then be at ease feeling that there is support for us and they can reach out to us anytime and that is what we do and we have been doing. I think that raises a question just for me because I'm so unfamiliar with the, you know, how that process works. So do refugees reach out to you? Is it usually someone that puts them, puts you in contact with them? How, how does that uh, relationship start? Well, okay, so uh, Canopy is related with other uh, federal organizations. We are our mother organization is the LIRS, it's the Luther Immigration and Refugee Services. So, and then they are related to a bigger network of uh, resettlement agencies in the nation. But in, then if you go a little higher, so that is the UNHCR that processes all these uh, refugees and migrants and then brings them to the U.S. until then nobody knows who gets who and who goes where. I see. But then it, it, this process is just step by step and Canopy knows only when a family from any country regardless of who they are are coming to the U.S. and then we are given a notification if we want to resettle them and sure that is what we are and who we are so we accept them and then that travel thing is not canopy what canopy would arrange that is the national uh, resettlement agency such as LIRS and a lot more uh, so they would notify us and we would know this family only when they are here at XNA and our team goes and receives them where mm -hmm. are a lot of these families coming from Malak, yeah, this talk? year it's uh, most of our friends like uh, from uh, Afghanistan, but we also have some uh, um, some families from um, uh, like uh, different countries, like Rwanda, um, like uh, Syrian. Uh, so we have like from different countries, um, around like 15 different countries. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. So once that family arrives at XNA, can you kind of give us an idea of what you do? What What's the process like from there? Yeah, it depends about uh, your role in the team. So like for me as a case manager, like our um, as a preparation starts when we receive them from the airport, then we be sure they have their 
um, uh, house, they are saving their house, they have all the basic needs. Then we start a different level of getting like uh, new documents, uh, social securities, like uh, apply for public benefits, uh, be sure the kids enroll in the school, then uh, finding jobs. So it depends about all what they need uh, to start their new life in Northwest Arkansas. So yeah. it's a, a wide variety of, of yes. help that you guys mm -hmm. are providing. Are you guys both like individual caseworkers, like you will deal with one family, or are you juggling, you know, several at a time? How does that work? So mm -hmm. I'm a case manager supervisor, but I started my job as um, the Afghan, uh, when the Afghans uh, came here last year, I started as a case manager. Um, so usually what happens is that you get a lot, well, it depends on the number of, of families or individuals we get, and sure. then it's mm -hmm. all that we have several case managers. So at one time, one case manager ha should have 50 individuals. Now it depends on the family, of course, but then they, they, the job requires them to have 50 individuals. But then for case manager supervisors, it's a little different because of the roles, but then we have a timeline as to what to do. Uh, so there is, mm -hmm. it's given by the federal agencies and by us. And for us, a seven day, a 10 day, a 30 day, a 60 day, and a 90 day. So that is how things are done. And then the final, the goal, the final goal is to help these uh, families be self-sufficient in terms of finances. So that is where Malat talked about mm -hmm. uh, having jobs for them that is our goal that okay they do they should not depend on anybody on canopy of course because of our uh, very limited uh, restricted finances and then on anybody so by the time they are here a few months mostly five to six they are able to bring their own money home do you have volunteer opportunities available Oh, yes, ah, sure. Yeah. So, Mala, could you talk <laughs> yes, about the, always, our co-sponsorship, yeah. please? Mm -hmm. We always need the volunteer and co-sponsor. They are really amazing, like especially the community um, like support because they always helping with uh, support our work sure. and be the family successful and integration in the community because they are part of the community. So we always seeking more volunteer and co-sponsor to support our like uh, goal to build a new home for these families. Absolutely, and if you're looking to volunteer or learn mm -hmm. more about Canopy NWA, we're gonna put a link over on our website where you can find out all of that information. 